Welcome back. Turning to your weather now. Storm alert moderate on this Sunday night. Bringing in forewarned meteorologist Daniel McFarland. Daniel, good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, a lot of wind here throughout southern Arizona from Tropical Storm Hillary, but will we see any bands of heavy rain moving in? Heavy rain seems like it might be a long shot at this point, Eric, but there's been some drizzle across some areas, but there has also been a couple stronger thunderstorms too that we'll talk about in just a second. But the latest update we have on Hillary that came out about half an hour ago is that the winds are down to about 50 miles per hour, so it's starting to weaken pretty quickly. And yes, it is officially a tropical storm in California, which hasn't happened since 1997. It's also moving very quickly too, so that is going to be bringing down that flooding threat for that portion of California seeing the rain. Now before the break, we we're talking about the different bands that are across the area and so far the one that's had the most amount of impact across southern Arizona hasn't been Tucson. Obviously, obviously it's been much closer to Safford. So this is really where we're seeing those thunderstorms developing and there has been some stronger storms that even caused some stronger winds out there. In fact, we do have a wind report out of Safford that said they didn't measure 60 mile per hour wind right there in the middle of town there with one of those thunderstorms. Outside of that, things have been pretty calm when it's been to uh, reports so far. Thunderstorms across the area also haven't been as tall. So one thing that's a little bit different with tropical systems is that they don't build up like monsoon storms. Instead, they tend to track along and then move out very quickly, almost as fast as the storm is moving right now. Those of you in Tucson that are worried you're not getting rain, most of the energy is further over towards the east, but you can see it's beginning to get closer and closer towards the city. So once we get into the evening hours, I do think there's going to be better rain chances for us. And even things uh, as we get into the day tomorrow won't be done. We still do have a small chance of severe weather that is going to be mostly for the area of Tucson. As I mentioned before, it does seem like the storm's moving very quickly up towards the north. As far as we're concerned, the eye is past us at this point, but we're still seeing some of those outer bands and the impacts are going to be there over the next little bit as well. So as we go through the early morning hours of Monday, I'm expecting those bands to still impact us up until about maybe 11 or 12 o'clock and then we get back to that typical monsoon pattern for Monday afternoon and some of that moisture that's going to be left over is going to be a big reason why we're seeing that stronger winds are going to be there for tonight. Now if you're looking forward to tomorrow, things will be returning to normal as far as the winds are concerned. They're not expected to be as bad as what we had today, but you might still have a couple thunderstorms out there with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Still decent rain chances for tomorrow, dropping a bit as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday and temperatures are looking at nice for the next few days, mid to lower 90s, a couple days out there, Eric, but you can see next weekend we're returning to reality 102 then 103 by Saturday and Sunday. Loving the temperatures, not so much the winds, but the temperatures. Yeah, and today's been pretty good. We stopped around 94, 95 throughout most of town, so that's not bad we'll either. We'll take it. Stay safe out there. It is time for sports.